Stephanie Shaw, and we're here at the Mocha House this morning, and we're here with their chef, Earl Gottney, and we're, he's going to talk to us a little bit about what goes on here at the Mocha House. Earl, tell us a little bit about the Mocha House, a little bit about their history. Well, when I first started working here, I was a student at Kent Trumbull campus, and uh, I was coming in for coffee every morning, and all of a sudden they said they needed some help. I happened to have some experience, so I kind of fell into the pattern. I've been here since they opened up. Wow, and the Mocha House has been here for how long? It'll be 20 years in 2012. Everything here is made fresh. Uh, our soups are homemade. Our cheesecakes, as you know, are homemade. Um, our meals, we try to variate them to the customer's desire. If it's on the menu, they can have it, but if they come in and desire something else that's not on the menu, we will accommodate. Um, I know, I, I live with one of the picky eaters that, that's here quite frequently, <laughs> and, and they do always accommodate. They get whatever you like. So Earl, I know you guys host a lot of different banquets here at the Mocha House on High Street, but you also have a facility down the street, yes. also on High. What's that called? That's the Hippodrome Banquet and uh, Catering Center. It's just diagonal to the post office, dug right down the street. And so tell me a little bit about that facility, why they decided to venture out into that facility and what type of events you host there. Uh, we, our banquet hall downstairs only seats about 80 people and it limited us to the amount of people we could serve. So the Hippodrome opened up, the original owner had passed away, we opened that up and it seats a larger quantity of people, 300 people compared to 80 downstairs. Well our baker is from New York area. Um, we got him I think about 15 years ago and everything is made from scratch. Uh, not necessarily cardiac safe, but we do we do try to keep it on the lean side. We have items on the menu as well for diet. Hi, I'm downstairs in the bakery area of the Mocha House. Didn't know this good setup existed. And Tina's working on a, a cheesecake. Tina, tell me a little bit about what you're making. This is a California cheesecake. It has cream cheese, strawberries, peaches, kiwi, and blueberries. Oh, it's awesome. You know, I've had this before. Actually, my mom orders it for her birthday every year. This is, it is excellent. It's really a good cake. Tell me a little bit, what makes it different than like a regular cheesecake? Um, they're homemade. They're baked in a water bath. And Pete over there, he's the one that makes all the cheesecakes. And I just decorate and finish them off. They, they are very, very good. We always enjoy a good cheesecake here at the Mocha House. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about why you started the Mocha House. Bill, tell me a little bit about the history. Um, it was an opportunity when we graduated from Youngstown State University. Uh, the economy was a little bit bad at the time, and uh, we, my father-in-law had this building, so we had an opportunity to renovate a building downtown Warren, as well as create a job. It just happened to be perfect timing when we got into it, so a little bit based on the economy, and we had a passion for the restaurant business. So. Just good timing, I would say, would be the best. Nick, tell me how you guys came up with the concept of the Mocha House. Well, it was a little bit of everything. We have a lot of family in the business, you know, in the New York area. We have uh, uncles, uh, they have diners. Uh, in the bakery field, I have a cousin that's super culinary. We got a lot of ideas from them. They, they let us train with them. They actually came here and helped us train our staff. And uh, that's pretty much, uh, how we got into it as far as uh, family-wise just pushing us towards it and they were our Bible. When we had a question, you know, they were there for us to be support. What I like about coming here is um, we used to come here all the time when I was in high school and we'd come for the atmosphere and sometimes they have a band and we'd come and play cards and so it's kind of fun to come back from where we live now and visit and just come and enjoy good food. They have really good wedding soup. So we like to come and eat that and desserts, of course. So it's a treat. What I have in front of me is the California omelet. It's one of my favorites here. It has broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and the great thing about the Mocha House, if you don't feel like cauliflower or carrots that day, just tell them. They'll make it special for you. Let me give a quick taste here. Mm, it's great. The vegetables are crisp. The eggs are done perfectly. I want to thank everyone for having us out today.